Knoxville, on the other hand, I'm not too fond of just because he's the one who introduced me to Adderall and then he made me get off of it cold turkey and he still takes it. I have a sour taste in my mouth about Jeff Tremaine. He only gave Poopies the new guy $35,000 of a movie that made $100 million in the box office. Police are currently on the hunt for Bam Margera. After he ran away from a Florida rehab facility, he wasn't allowed to leave. According to a Delray Beach police report acquired by your favorite Jackass Updates page, the rehab facilities manager reported the Jackass star missing on Monday, the 13th of June. The manager claims Margera told him he was unhappy with the place and their services, and that he was splitting. According to this same report, Bam told the manager that instead of staying there, he'd be checking himself into a different rehab center nearby. It was noted that he left the premises in a black sedan. The manager was vocal that Bam was confined to the facilities under a court order, and that the staff was constantly concerned about him leaving without authorization. With all this being said, the staff made it clear that Bam didn't appear to be a danger to himself or others. Authorities have been looking for him since Monday, but, so far, they've come up empty-handed. So my Bentley and my Range Rover got stolen. I had to report it stolen, so I had to buy a another one. Ugh. After completing a full 12 months of rehabilitation, Bam was finally allowed to move into a court-approved home near his rehab center in Boca Raton with his wife Nikki and son Phoenix. But speaking of AA, I've been speaking a lot uh, in class, but I don't like the fact that I have to raise my hand like, pick me, pick me. So Novak works for Banyan Treatment Center and he goes to these meetings all the time and speaks. So now he's arranging me to speak in, in the front of the class for longer amounts of time because I'm pretty good at it now. Before, I didn't know if I was telling war stories or not, which means you can't really brag about your golden days of drinking. You know, like, man, I just get f***ed up. My one naked buddy was up on the roof and he f***ing fell down and fell in the bushes and then some guy f***ed on it. It was f***ing hilarious. You can't tell that because it triggers people to want to drink again. So, now I know not to do that. You have to have a point of why not to drink. So, <laughs> I learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> Last month, Bam had a gnarly skateboarding wipeout and ended up breaking multiple bones, including his wrist and elbow. He then blamed the rehab facility for not setting up necessary physical therapy appointments. This obviously increased tension between the facility and the famous stuntman who has received medical accommodations frequently in his particular line of work. Danny Duncan just texted me. He actually wanted to do a movie. I said I would love to do that, but can't do sh for six more weeks. There you have it, rock and roll. According to local sources, we've confirmed that he did in fact have multiple issues with the facility's restrictions and overall behavior. He made the impulsive decision to leave after allegedly getting into a heated argument with his wife who was most likely trying to convince him to stay. As we mentioned before, Bam had recently completed a year of treatment for his substance problems, and had allegedly been doing well. Right now we are told, friends and family are working on getting him back to the facility, and back on track. How's my relationship with the crew now? Well, if you're talking about jackass, uh, everything's good with the crew. I have a sour taste in my mouth about Jeff Tremaine just because... He keeps all the money and takes all the credit and he just says get hurt in action and people break their bones for him. And you know, like he only gave Poopies the new guy $35,000 of a movie that made a hundred million dollars in the box office. He got bitten by a shark and you can't even buy a used Hyundai for 35 grand. Like, can he share a bit of the wealth? You know, Tremaine probably pocketed $60 million. And he can't even give Poopy more than 35 grand. That's ridiculous. You know? And then he'll take people's ideas. When I came up with an idea to get on a treadmill, a horse treadmill at full speed into a garage door one by one, he came up with the idea to wear marching band equipment and he took the whole idea for a marching band idea. I'm like, I'm the one who came up with the idea to jump on the treadmill one by one in the garage door that's the whole bit you just came up with our outfits you d and uh knoxville on the other hand i'm not too fond of just because he's the one who introduced me to adderall and then he made me get off of it cold turkey and he still takes it and 
I had to get on all these pills that he made me take. Dr. Knoxville, when I was in rehab, he read all the list of medications I was on. And he's like, you can't take this. You can't take that. You... I'm like, who the f*** are you? So I got a sour taste in my mouth about him. Everybody else I love, I talk to them here and there. But I talk to Steve-O every day. He came out here to visit me recently. And uh, we constantly keep in touch. He's pretty much like my AA sponsor. Shoutouts to Jackass Updates Clips Pay. They're on their stuff real fast. Real fast. So gotta respect them. Go subscribe to them if you're a Jackass fan.